Yesterday, the representatives of Las Vegas media were invited by the Boring Company to get their first look of the Boring Company's 52.5 million people mover system, the tunnel of Las, known as Las Vegas Loop. Here is what they say. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And please like this video if you find it informative. Richard Velota from Las Vegas Journal writes about his experience of the Boring Company's uh, tour that the Las Vegas media was invited. So after he says, after construction crews spent months drilling, digging, mucking, paving, lining and electrifying tunnels, representatives of Las Vegas media were invited underground to get the first look at the boring company's 52.5 million people mover tunnel system uh, yesterday on Thursday. So trips uh, through the tunnels are an only in Las Vegas experience with LED lighting uh, that cycles through a rainbow of colors from second to second lining the tunnel war, Velota says. Um, he also says that cars have enough clearance in the tunnels that riders can open doors and get out in an emergency because this is important because a lot of people earlier thought that uh, the tunnel is so narrow and thin that uh, people were afraid that uh, at that speed that uh, cars cannot drive unless Tesla only uses the autopilot or full self-driving system so it can go like centimeter or millimeter precisely with, with that precision. But Richard, uh, the author of the report, uh, Velota says cars have enough clearance in the tunnels that riders can open doors and get out in an emergency and this this is this makes really good sense to me friends so the drivers hit maximum speed of about 35 miles per hour on the uh, straightways of the tunnels the electric vehicles run silently on the underground paved surfaces at the end of the tunnel the model x and model 3 tesla climb a ramp to reach the surface now what's interesting is that they probably tasted tested only 35 miles per hour for the testing purpose because our uh, understanding earlier was that the uh, uh, cars are going to go very fast um, i don't remember the exact speed but i think it was beyond 100 miles per hour or something uh, the, the through the tunnel but it was the tunnel was going to move the car itself so i don't know let's let's continue looking at the uh, article together and then we will know if there is any additional information about the speed at the boring company's Las Vegas tunnel. So Velota also says that parallel tunnels nearly a mile long will shuttle conven uh, conventioneer passengers to all uh, to and from three stations when the system developed by entrepreneur Elon Musk becomes fully operational. A certified of occupancy, uh, actually a certificate of occupancy has been issued to the Las Vegas convention and visitors authority so this is very good already so crews began drilling the 4475 feet of dirt and rock 40 feet underground in no november 2019 completing the first tunnel bore in february 2020 drilling concluded on the second tunnel in may 2020 and efforts to pave and light the tunnels and that late last year with several safety checks completed before the tunnels were turned over to the LVCVA. Now, uh, throughout the construction, the boring company wouldn't let media members see progress, but invited members of the LVCVA board of directors and dignitaries from other municipalities to see them. This is why in my previous reports, friends, I haven't had any fresh images or videos from the boring company but have only used to show you what the boring company has been showing on its website for the media and also i think the best glimpse that we got was from when uh, jay lino 
with Elon Musk enter the boring company using the Cybertruck. And uh, according to Elon Musk, he didn't even know if Cybertruck will fit the boring company's tunnel. And also, I think another good video we had when Elon Musk had a tweet showing the lights of uh, the boring company tunnels. So Musk tweeted occasional photos, like I said, from the tunnels and stations. And that's what I have used. Um, Valletta says that uh, Steve Hill president and CEO of the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority said Tesla sedans would be used initially for the system and eventually there may be higher capacity vehicles. Um, here's, a, here's a quote from him, friends. He says, it seems that during a virus pandemic is not the time to be increasing capacity. Hill said before several reporters took off on rides to the end of the system. So that means in the beginning, I don't know how this thing will go on, this virus, but in the beginning, it will be only Tesla vehicles. They don't want to uh, increase capacity during this time. Hill said the Tesla fleet started out at 11 vehicles and is expected to expand to 35 and vehicles and eventually to 60 vehicles. Um, once operational, uh, the boring company's Las Vegas tunnel will drive Tesla vehicles through the tunnel, uh, turning a 1.5 mile, 15 minute walk on the surface into a trip that takes a couple of minutes. Tesla vehicles capable of carrying up to 16 passengers are expected to be used in the system, but it hasn't been disclosed when those vehicles would be delivered. Did you realize we were just talking about Tesla vans because it has to be a van to carry 16 passengers. At Torque News YouTube channel, on this channel, I have had reports about Tesla vans before and regarding the, um, the boring company. So if you are interested to learn more about that, please take a look. There are some more interesting details on that. But yes, Tesla vehicles capable of carrying up to 16 passengers are expected to be used in the boring uh, company's uh, Las Vegas Loop Tunnel uh, system, but it hasn't been disclosed when those vehicles would be delivered, maybe in several years, because in that previous report, I argued that vans are a very interesting market, and I explained why it's interesting for Tesla to enter. Now, while the tunnels and vehicles are designed to operate uh, in autonomous mode, LVCVA officials have said boring company drivers would be employed in the early stages of operation for additional safety. This makes good sense because what if, like I said, it's still that not that large, uh, the area is not that big and uh, people need to be very careful when driving. This is why Las Vegas LVCBA will be using the boring company's drivers in an initial stage. The system is designed with three stations, one underground near the entrance of the Las Vegas Convention Center's central hall and two above ground stations at the two ends of the system. Paved ramps are in place for vehicles to climb to the surface for above ground loading on the east and west ends of the route. The east station, known as Station 1, is near and an entrance to the South Hall, while Station 3 on the west side of the Convention Center campus is near the West Hall. No details on querying and loading procedures or wait times for rides have been given. Now, here are some future uh, projects for uh, boring company tunnels. Other boring company tunnels pro projects are on the horizon in Las Vegas. Direct tunnels uh, that would link the Las Vegas Convention Center with Encore Las Vegas and with Resort World Las Vegas have been negotiated by Wynn Resorts Ltd, operators of, uh, operators of Encore and the uh, Genting Group, which is building Resorts World. In addition, the boring company has negotiated with the city of Las Vegas and Clark County to develop what is being called the Vegas Loop, a 15-mile underground transit system with stations at local resorts and, attract resorts and attractions. Hill said Boring Company has indicated the cost of the ride. The Vegas Loop system would be somewhere between the amount it would take to ride a bus and the amount it would cost for an Uber ride. Like traditional ride-hailing companies, uh, the cost would be per vehicle and not 
per person. So this is how much the uh, cost of ride, the prices of boring companies, Las Vegas Loop system will cost. The biggest difference between the v Vegas Loop and the Vegas Convention Center Loop besides length is the Convention Center people mover contracted to be built by the LVCVA um, will be free for convention customers to ride with the Vegas Loop is being built on speculation with resorts paying for their own stations and riders being charged to be transported within the tunnels to their destinations. That makes sense, you know, resource paying for riders, uh, riders to be transported and uh, convention visitors to have free rides uh, through the Las Vegas uh, convention loop. The contract to build uh, the convention center loop was controversial because Musk company, Musk's, Elon Musk's company had never built one for commercial use and the local system will be the first one to be operated. The city of Miami has taken an interest in the system because it's considering a tunnel beneath the Miami River to connect downtown with the Brickell Financial District. In fact, the North Miami also is interested in that. They are in initial talks with um, Elon Musk and the Boring Company. One big advantage of the Musk system, uh, the Boring companies, is that it's inexpensive to build. Tunnels are much narrower than conventional subway tunnels and the boring company's drilling machine manufactures bricks to line the tunnel as it digs, making it economical to build. The boring company has said that the citywide tunnel system would operate like ride hailing with a passenger choosing the destination and the vehicle taking the most direct route there would stops at a um, route there um, without stops at other stations the company hasn't announced how much it expects to charge passengers but like a little bit ago i talked about the uh, cost and price so what do you think about this uh, developments and the boring company friends let me know in the comment section below what interests you most and this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla and electric vehicle news please like this video if it was informative and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage have a great day god bless you everyone and i would greatly appreciate if you would share this in social media see you soon in our next report